Well, CBS 19 is a proud partner of the Caldwell Zoo, and a new expansion is on the way, bringing jaguars and many Amazonian animals to the zoo. Meteorologist Sarah Blue recently got a chance to dust off her hard hat and get a look behind the scenes. If you visited the zoo, you might hear the sound of drilling and hammering. I'm standing above what will become the newest region of the Caldwell Zoo, Amazon River's Edge, and I'm joined by Chief Operating Officer of the Caldwell Zoo, Scott Maddox. And Scott, what can we expect from this new addition? A brand new South American area for the zoo with um, great habitats for the animals and a lot of fun interactive opportunities for our guests. We're going to have a giant river otter exhibit, which will be new to our collection, a new event center, a 10,000 square foot walkthrough habitat with birds and mammals in it, and a brand new jaguar exhibit with underwater viewing as well. So why the Amazon? We've had a South America section in the zoo for, for decades. Uh, and this happened to be the oldest part of the zoo and in need of an overhaul. So we started over from the ground up all the way down to the utilities infrastructure. We stuck with South America because there's some animals that have always been popular with our guests and a lot of opportunities for some conservation programs with, with the animals in that region. It's also a great ecosystem that's really interesting with a lot of stories to tell about products from the rainforest. We have taken a lot of care into designing habitats that are great for the animals, but also offer opportunities for us to interact with our guests. We've got a lot of fun planned. Well, I'd love to see some of it. All right. This is gonna be the giant river otter exhibit, and this is probably gonna be one of the hot spots of this whole area. Why are you so excited about river otters? We're gonna have underwater viewing, so we'll be able to see through a glass and we'll be able to see the river otters as they're swimming under the water and also on the ground area above that. In the center section there are uh, rock platforms that uh, otters will be able to get up on top of right in front of the glass and if you see the uh, little small holes in the wall that is a spot for one of our keeper staff to be able to put food through a tube that goes into the otters so we'll actually be able to have training sessions with the otters in front of our guests. That's so exciting. Okay, where are we now? Right now we're standing inside the 10,000 square foot Amazon immersion exhibit. What do you mean by immersion? By immersion, what we mean is you're actually inside the habitat with the animals. Inside this habitat, there will be a variety of South American birds, anteaters, sloth, and capybara. There will be a barrier that stops you from being able to contact the mammals, but the birds will be able to fly around all over. How exciting. And do you have an estimated opening date for this entire area? We hope to be finished with pretty much all of the construction around the first part of September. And uh, then it'll take us a month or two to move in the animals and get them acclimated to their new habitat and also give our staff an opportunity to start working with their new facilities before we actually open, which we hope will be open to the public before the end of the year. Well, so exciting. I, for one, am definitely looking forward to it. For CBS 19, I'm Sarah Blue.